through divorce. In today's world, courts are ruling in favor of joint custody. This means that both parents share in the decision making for any children involved. Placement is different, but even if one parent has more placement time with the children, the other is not discluded from those decisions. This video is going to give some tips when it comes to working with your ex as a co-parent. I love the quote here. Divorce is not a break. It's transitioning from parenting together while in a relationship to parenting together out of a relationship. Just as you had to learn to be married, you need to learn to be divorced. Like it says here, and like I will say many times throughout the video, the children are going to be affected by this. And I, I, I love the quote at the bottom too. When you choose to have a child with someone, you choose to parent with them. And co-parenting will allow for the least amount of disruption in your child's life. So how can we do this? We don't badmouth our exes. We find an outlet for negative feelings because we will have them. Creating a pl parenting plan will give consistency to the kids. Allowing communication with the children and their other parent will help them feel safe. And finally, letting go of the negative feelings. These are just a start, but they are extremely helpful. So first with bad mouthing, do you ever find yourself thinking some of the quotes that are listed here? Maybe a couple of them have slipped out a few times. I think that the quote at the bottom says it all. Your co-parent is half of your child. When all else fails, think of that and hug your kids just a little bit harder. When you do this, it's going to make it harder for those little comments to um, slip out or for you to mumble them under your breath. They, when your children hear them, what they hear is half of me is wrong. And I know that none of you listening will want that. That doesn't mean that you don't have these feelings or that you shouldn't feel these feelings. You may absolutely be right in feeling them, but there's a right way and a wrong way to get them out. My favorite way is to journal. And like it says here, write it down, rip it up, burn it, or keep it. Whatever works, but get it out. Another way is to utilize a friend or relative when necessary. Divorce is hard, and despite our best efforts, it's hard to stay positive 100% of the time. The court system is designed to keep positivity from staying there, and it's designed to highlight the worst in each other. Like I said, kids are going to be affected by divorce. There's no way around that. But research shows that consistency between two homes and respect for each other is the number one way to limit just how badly your children are affected. This parenting plan is something that I've used in the past, and it's very helpful. It's so basic, but it allows for both parents to feel like they're being heard. For some, they email it back and forth and write out their comments on there. There's always a record of that. For others, they sit down at a table and write this all out, and that way there's consistency between the two homes because both parents can refer to this. It's never going to be perfect 100% of the time, but this helps the kids feel safer. Next, communication, um, which has two sides. Communication is you and your co-parent talking to each other, and it's your children and your co-parent talking to each other. First, between you and your co-parent, decide on a method that works. For some, it's only in systems like Our Family Wizard. For others, it's phone, text, email, everything is open. Whatever it is, always have a backup plan. Next, between your children and your co-parent, don't hold back communication from them. Obviously, your children are going to try and use this as a way to get out of discipline or punishment, but go back to the parenting plan and remain consistent on this. Again, your children will feel safer. Finally, never, never, never assume. It's not your child's job to tell you what's happening at mom or dad's house, and their story is not going to be 100% of what happened. Always talk to your co-parent about it. Finally, let go of negativity. It's not for you. It's not for your, it's not for your co-parent. It's for you. Letting go of those negative feelings is to give you peace. You deserve that peace and your children deserve to see you at peace.
I can't tell you how often I tell co-parents that I work with, let go, let go, let go. Having children is not a competition in who's raising them better. It's about raising them together. And if you can let go of the negativity, that is going to bring you one huge step closer to a co-parenting relationship that ensures your children are not so badly affected. For one-on-one -on -one work with you and discounted rates working with you and your co-parent, contact me through my site. For more information on letting go, visit my blog here.